Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Digital Story Time. We are going to read interesting stories for grade 3 learners, but can be enjoyed by all children. Each story has a title, a body, questions, and a glossary for you to learn new words and signs. We hope you enjoy and learn some new things. Welcome. Busy Boys Story Summary Busy Boys Amina Charo and Maina are at home. Wekesa comes to visit. He helps Charo and Maina with work. They then go to play near the river. Father calls the boys and asks them to go back home. It is Saturday morning. Amina, Maina and Charo are asleep. Mother has woken up. Father has woken up too. Father goes to the cow shed. Mother goes to the chicken house. It will be a busy day. The children likes eggs. Mother wants to cook eggs for breakfast. She picks some eggs. Father milks the cows. Milk is good for our health. Mother will boil the milk. Then she will make tea. Amina wakes up. She goes to mother. Good morning, mother, says Amina. Good morning, Amina, says mother. Amina walks past mother. I am going to watch father milking the cows. I can see him in the cow shed, says Amina. Maina and Charo wake up. They stand at the window. Charo sees Amina in the cow shed. He shows Maina where Amina is. The boys run outside. Mother asks Maina and Charo to sweep the compound. They get brooms and sweep. It is now time for breakfast. Father, Mother, Amina, Charo and Maina are at the table. Father and mother eat potatoes. The children eat eggs. Everyone has a banana. They are all happy. The sun is shining.
it is hot. Father is going to the market on his bicycle. He is going to sell some milk. Mother and Amina are cleaning the house. Charo and Maina are at the cow shed. They are feeding the cows. Wekesa comes to visit Maina. They are best friends. Maina greets Wekesa. Can we go to the river to swim? asks Wekesa. We must feed the cows first, says Charo. Wakesa helps Charo and Maina to feed the cows. The boys walk to the river. On the way, they see a bird. The bird has many colors. The boys want to take the bird home. The bird hops away. Charo tries again to catch the bird. The bird flies away. Maina, Wakesa and Charo get to the river. First, they swim in the river. Maina says, let us build a stone house. The boys look for stones. There are many stones on the river bank. The sky is now cloudy. Maina, Charo and Wekesa are still near the river. They play another game. The boys throw stones into the river. They want to see who can throw stones very far. Maina throws fast. The stones fall near the river bank. Amina and mother are at home. They have cooked chicken, rice and vegetables. Amina likes to cook. Amina takes the food to the table. It is time to eat. Father is not at home. Maina and Charo are not at home too. Father is back from the market. Is the food ready? I am very hungry. He says.
We have cooked rice, chicken, and vegetables, says Amena. Where are Charo and Maina? Father asks. They are at the river, says mother. It is cloudy and cold outside. Father goes to call the boys. It begins to drizzle. Father wears a coat. The boys see a rainbow in the sky. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. The boys name the colors. It begins to rain heavily. Father is here, Maina tells Jaro. Stop playing in the rain, says Father. The boys run home. They put on dry clothes and go to the table. They are ready to eat. I will never play in the rain again, says Maina. Yes, it is not good to play in the rain. You can catch a cold, says Mother. Everyone eats happily. Lunch is over. The four children take the dirty plates to the kitchen. Wakesa and Amina wash the plates. Maina and Charo dry the plates. They put the plates on a rack. Mother cleans the table. Father arranges the seats. It is still raining a lot. The children cannot play outside. They play a game of numbers. Charo picks number three. Wakesa picks number seven. Amina picks number six. Maina picks number two. We have finished reading the first book. Next are questions to test your comprehension. Ready? Questions. Number one. Which day is it? Number two. Who milks the cows? Number three. Is Wekesa a good friend? Why? Number four. What do the boys use to build a house? I hope you had fun reading this book and learned some new words and signs. We are now moving to the second book. Enjoy. The Train Trip
Story Summary Adama, Matu and their mother are going on a trip to Mombasa. They go by train. On the way, they see many animals and they are very happy. Adama and Matu are happy. They are going to Mombasa by train. They sing, Chuku Chuku Train, Chuku Chuku Train. The girls go to the railway station. Mother is with them. Wow, the train is here. It looks like a long snake, Matu says. Adama and Matu run to get seats. Matu sits near a window. Adama sits next to her. Mother sits with Adama and Matu. The train starts moving. Chuku, 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 chuku. The train goes. The train stops after four hours. It is time to eat. Mother, Adama and Matu eat rice and meat. Which town is this mother? Adama asks. We are in Voi town, mother says. Everybody gets back into the train. Mother and the girls go back to their seats. Woo! The train makes a loud sound. Oh, look at the elephants, Adama says. They are very big, Matu says. This is Savo National Park, Mother tells them. The girls are happy to see the elephants. They see giraffes eating leaves from the top of trees. Their necks are very long, Matu shouts. Mother looks at the animals too. Look girls, Mother says as she points to the ocean. The train stops in Mombasa. The girls see their aunt and cousin at the railway station. The children are happy to be in Mombasa. When we read a book, we must always reflect on what we learn and understand from it. That's why questions and learning new words is always important. Ready for questions? Let's go. Questions. Number one. Where are Mother Adama and Matu going? Number two. Who sits near a window? Number three, in which town does the train stop? Number four, what do mother Adama and Matu eat? Number five, why do you think Mombasa is far from Adama and Matu's home? Glossary. Train. T. R. A. I. N. C. 
sit s e a t voi v o i elephant e l e p h a n t giraffe g i r a f f e ocean o c e a n we are done for today see you next time happy reading bye